Good morning, brothers and sisters. <clears throat> uh, the topic of uh, today's gospel is about uh, healing of the sick as uh, exemplified by our Lord Jesus Christ. I'm reminded about uh, a lady who was a uh, patient, isang pasyente po, at siya ay uh, inihahanda para siya ay uh, uh, operahin. At uh, alam po ninyo, itong uh, pasyente ay uh, may uh, edad na at uh, takot na takot uh, siya sa operation na gagawin sa kanya. Kaya when the uh, surgeon came, uh, this uh, lady, uh, you know, he was uh, trembling and she said, Doc, sana po um, mahinahon kayo, mag-iingat po kayo kasi ngayon lang ako mauopera. At alam niyo, tinignan po ng doktor o yung surgeon, yung pasyente, at sabi niya, ma'am, huwag kang mag-alala. Alam mo, pareho lang tayo. Ito rin ang kauna-unahong operasyon na gagawin ko. <laughs> well, uh, <clears throat> the uh, operation was uh, uh, successful because the lady was uh, prayerful and uh, uh, the young doctor was able to do his uh, uh, duty. My dear brothers and sisters, for the healing to be successful, one has to have faith of entrusting oneself in the hands of a doctor and to God. And that's what the Roman centurion, uh, a Roman officer, who did in the gospel. He begged our Lord to heal his servant who was on the verge of death. And Jesus told the centurion, I'll come to your house and cure him. However, the centurion replied, Lord, don't bother yourself to come. I'm not worthy that you should uh, enter under my roof. But only say the word and, I, and he will get well. Jesus was amazed and much impressed by the officer's faith. He said, I've never found such a faith in the whole of Israel. You may go home now, and you will find your servant healed. And it really did happen. My dear brothers and sisters, as followers of Jesus Christ, we are committed to reach out to our sick brothers and sisters in whatever way we can. We may not be a miracle worker or healer like our Lord Jesus Christ, but we can help cure the sick. One way is through our prayer, the so-called apostolate of prayer. One time I was conversing with uh, a doctor and uh, I said, Doc, do you believe in the saying, God heals, the doctor collects the fee. Tumawa po yung doktor. Then uh, sabi niya, well, there's some truth to that, Father. He replied, because if God doesn't will the cure, we doctors cannot do anything. So this uh, prayer and entrusting to our Lord uh, his will, and we can do that by true prayer. Another way of reaching out to the sick is our apostolate of presence. That means finding time to visit a sick relative, a friend, a co-worker, and show our love, our caring, our support. One time I went to... Uh, the Lourdes Hospital for consultation with my doctor. When I was there, I found out that one of our elderly uh, uh, SVD conferences was confined. 
I decided to drop by his room. You know, I did not regret visiting him because when I opened the door, he was alone and looked lonely. But then when he saw me, he was very happy. And he said, oh, Father, thank you very much for your coming and visit me. Of course, I didn't tell him that it was only by accident that I dropped by. But anyway, I realized, my dear brothers and sisters, how important it is to visit someone you know, especially if he or she is uh, elderly. My dear brothers and sisters, maybe put to heart the lesson of Jesus Christ in today's gospel and the importance of reaching out to people who are sick. And more importantly, put it into practice when this situation arises. Amen.